Hey there, welcome to the Leader of Learning YouTube channel. In this video, I wanna show you how you can take two video files and put them together in one. If you're like me and have an audio only podcast, or especially if you have a video podcast, you might be wondering how you can take two video files and get them into one video. I'll show you that coming right up. Welcome back. Like I said, in this video, I want to show you how you can take two separate files and bring them together in one. Before we get there, I do want to ask that if you enjoy this content, please go ahead and click the subscribe button to subscribe to the content on this channel and also the notifications bell so you can get notified anytime new videos come out. So if you're like me and you record your podcast in a platform that also records the video like Zencaster, Squadcast, Riverside, or maybe even Zoom, you might be wondering how you can get the two separate video files together into one. And that's what I want to show you today. Let me just show you an example of what I mean. Here is how I like to put out my YouTube videos that show the video version of a recorded podcast interview. We are back with our next guest in this episode, Kim Strobel, who I'm just gonna describe. What you're seeing there is a background image with the two separate video files that I've put together, almost how it looks in Zoom or on a conference call when you have two people who are sharing the call together plus some text overlays to introduce myself and my guest. Now, the way that I do this is by using WeVideo. WeVideo is an amazing video editing platform that is entirely web-based and cloud-based. However, you can do this in any multi-track video editor, and I'm thinking of some common ones like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro or even iMovie. But I like using WeVideo, and what I've already done is in the video one track is where I have my background image. Now, I made that image in Canva. It does look a little bit different than the one I just showed you in YouTube, but I like designing these in Canva, and maybe that'll be a separate video. But for now, let me show you how you can bring separate video tracks in to this video project. What I want to do is I want to select the track to bring in and click and drag it down into first the video two track and also I'm going to do it in the video three track. Let me just zoom in a little bit to make sure that my videos line up, especially at the beginning when I want them to. Before these videos, I have a little bit of an introduction for about eight seconds. So I wanna make sure that me and my guest are shown right after that introduction. Now what you'll notice is that right now only one of those videos show up and that's because we need to do some resizing. So to do that, I double click each video and I bring it down to just about 0.5 or 50 percent of the original size. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to go down just a little bit below to 49. For now, I'm just going to save that and I'll do it with the other one as well. So again, 0.49 is what I like. And then the next step is to align the videos to where you want them to be. I'm going to bring this one to Let's call it 300 for the height and 965 for the horizontal alignment. Same thing with the other track. In order to get them side by side, we did this and then 300. So now they're going to be on the same plane and I'm gonna save that. And now we have them side by side. Okay, so it was really 
just that easy. I pulled each video file down into its respective track in the project, made sure that they were overlaid on top of my background image, and then just placed them how I wanted them to look on the screen. If you want to take that extra step and add the text like I do here, then you will go to text. Again, you can do this in any video editing software. I just prefer to use WeVideo. And you will take whatever text you like. Let's say you like this one, or let's look for a, a lower third. Maybe you like this ripple one. You take that and you drag it down into the tracks below. I've already done so, and so really all I need to do at this point is to rename what I want this to say. And now, if I go ahead and play and preview this video, I will see my intro video and then getting into the two separate video tracks with me and my guests that have been lined up and overlaid on top of the background with some text intros as well. Welcome back. Back, it is my privilege to be speaking in this episode with Dr. Now, the only thing I'm noticing is I might want to just uh, lower the text a little bit because I think that it, some of it is a little hard to read right now. But before we do that, I'm just going to do one last thing, which is that I also have a image that represents my YouTube end screen, just like that. So I pulled it to make sure that it, it is aligned with the very end of both of my video tracks, again, for me and my guest. And I'm just gonna shorten up the background image as well. So I've pulled those nice and tight and so that they're all aligned at the very end of my video project. And there you go. The last thing that I'll do, like I said, is just to lower that text down a little bit. And now I have, again, pulled both of those video files together into one video project and then when i export it to youtube it will really just look seamless like it was always in one place and not recorded on two separate video tracks so there you go i see questions all the time from other podcasters who are starting to use these platforms that record video and it's really just that easy. That's how to take two separate video files and bring them together to get that split screen, almost Zoom-like effect on a YouTube video or wherever you publish your video podcast. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, I'd like to ask that you subscribe to this channel. Please click the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any new content. Thank you so much for joining me here on Leader of Learning. We'll see you next time.